beings, welcome to my sacred space. My name is Raven and thank you so much for being here and for hanging out with me as we are going to discuss the Spirit Animal Wisdom deck by Katie Jane Wright as illustrated by Nikki Strange. So this is a deck that I purchased from the local bookstore, I just grabbed it from the shelf and it doesn't really look like an oracle box or deck, right? I mean, if you read this, but somehow, I know, I, I, I don't know, it, it doesn't grab at me. And there is no huge letter or huge, I don't know, like m fonts or whatever that says Oracle. So, you know, I guess it's quite unassuming, especially the, the, the packaging or the image in the front. I mean, you know, it doesn't really scream Oracle to me, which I, I think it's awesome that I did grab this one because... I read the back actually and here it says that it is an oracle deck but yeah i mean if you would just see this in the um in the bookstore and you don't know that it is like an oracle deck I and mean, you're not specifically looking for it you know it is i don't think it will grab at you you know you know what i mean and yeah i'm rambling <laughs> so in the back it says spirit animal wisdom contains a 50 card deck and guidebook Call in the wisdom of your spirit animal guides with this beautiful deck of oracle cards and a guide to their messages. We each have a host of guides in spirit which support which support us through this journey, whichever path we may choose. This wisdom deck is a tool to connect with your animal guides to welcome them and receive their messages as intuited by Katie Jane Wright. As you work with your guides, you may be ex you may be surprised to notice that many ways um, they will show up in your life. Just open your heart and let your guides come to you. And we have Bambi pretty so yeah i just realized i haven't really done a video for this one um i know i showcased this during the tarot and tea tuesday um animal deck collection video but that's it i just you know i'm um, actually tanya tanya pizzolato hello she mentioned that she she was interested in this deck and it, it was the first time that she's seeing it and yeah that's actually the reason why i'm doing this review because i feel like this is such an awesome and a fantastic deck that it doesn't just get a lot of airtime or i don't know i mean i haven't really searched youtube for a video of this one but maybe there's not a lot you know maybe this is kind of like um it's not really that popular but it should be or at least you know i don't know like it deserves more appreciation from people because it is a lovely lovely deck and look at that backing isn't that gorgeous so yeah tanya this video is actually <laughs> because of you so here is your guidebook oh this is published by did i say the publisher um octopus books all right so this is the guidebook it looks indie-ish to me i guess because i don't know um so yeah this is the guidebook um, it's not that thick but, you know, I read through it and I got the messages that I needed to hear, you know, or at least a little bit more information with some of the, the animals that I'm not really that super, super familiar with, you know. And it's always fun to read about animals. So, yeah. One thing about this deck, though, is that it doesn't have a number. And it's not like this, um, this guidebook. Although it has the contents, it is not alphabetical. So, you know, you would really need to utilize the table of contents if you want to read the um, meanings of your card, okay? So, you have introduction. It has quite the same information, I guess. Uh, I don't remember. I've, I've had this for, I think I got this last year, early last year. Um, so how I work with the animals to create this deck, the process of speaking to the animals has happened is a very organic process. I have a Native American spirit guide who has been with me most of my life called Natua. Natua? He's a wise leader. Um, oh, sorry. He's a wise old elder, a Cherokee Indian. In order to meet with the animals, I went on a shamanic journey to meet Natua in a safe clearing and we created the spirit. Oh, and we created on the spirit plane. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I can't read. So there, and then here you would have, like, she explains on how, you know, they created, the both of them, her spirit guide and um, herself, how they chose the animals, or I think the animals came to them and gave the specific meanings and symbols. And then here, um, before you begin, so this is where you would get um, information on how to consecrate your cards, to transfer your energies under the cards, and then storing your cards, and then how to use the deck. Um, here you would have different spreads. You know, look at that. I mean, it's not super thick, but you would have all the information needed. Look at that. 
so you'd have different spreads plus more information so you would also have bonus cards so she talks about how you know when cards kind of like or i call them well not really stalker cards but those cards that kind of like jump out and you know are sometimes um reversed so i mean those cards would you know sometimes really have a specific meaning for you so pay attention to them so that's basically just what she's saying there and then she has um, i have included crystals for each card that you may wish to use as a support for your connection with the spirit animal so yes she included crystals in the cards we'll see that later um where and then yeah so specifically if you're going to meditate with the cards and then working with the elements so here you would have the different elements um the icons of each or the symbols of each and then connecting with the animal guides and meditation and i love this part i love that how she, i love that she really took the time to kind of like explain the med the meditative oh gosh i can't speak meditative process <laughs> sorry the meditative process and you know how you can incorporate your crystals and how you can make it a little bit more solemn or a little bit more um for you a little bit more how do i say that more you you know if you know what i mean yeah you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah it's very awesome and she she put in a lot of information which is great and then on to the cards so there that is how it looks like you would have like a tiny representation of the um the card itself it's not colored but you would have like the keyword and the meaning and here at the bottom you would have the crystal companions we are going to have a look at the the meanings later and how she writes but for now we're going to have a look at the cards and i'll give you a flip through and then later we'll shuffle and we'll select a card and we'll read the meaning yeah okay size typical oracle deck size i guess typical hay house card it has a different feel it's somewhat plasticky i guess but not really it is very thin but you know that doesn't concern me at all i guess this is an I, I don't know i just like it because i'm able to shuffle it well and it's very satisfying when i bridge it <laughs> so i don't really mind so it has this very hypnotic even like background or sorry um backing with the geometric shapes the nice blue and turquoise and the kind of like an evil eye in the middle um very beautiful so um it has rounded edges it's 50 cards but it's not that thick i guess well you know because of the thinness of the the card stock but that doesn't really bother me that much so you can see my cards have a lot of scratches in them because i've been using them a lot and thoroughly in the past so we're going to have a look at that look what i can't talk i'm a i'm sorry maybe it's the the coffee i had today it was pretty pretty strong i'm sorry so yeah we're going to have a look at the cards so um it would just be like this like a f image for the first three fourths of the of the card and then white title the symbol for the element the keyword and a key phrase and i think the simplicity of this one is what makes it ultimately gorgeous all right so i'm gonna stop yapping and i'm gonna put on some music and we're going with the flip through right now
that is it. That is the flip through for the Spirit Animal Wisdom Oracle deck by Katie Jane Wright, illustrated by Nikki Strange. And Nikki Strange did an awesome job like representing all of the animals. I think this deck is just absolutely gorgeous. It gives off like a very gentle, loving, nurturing energy. It's, it has this very soft vibe to it. And I'm not sure if that is because of um, the medium that she used when she created her. Maybe these are painted. I believe these are painted. Look at that. I guess because, you know, if you, if you can see they're not, there are no rough edges. So I guess maybe that's, that's what really gives them. even the spider card come on if you if you i'm not afraid of spiders but i know a lot of people are afraid of it but look at that i mean i guess my light is too harsh but it has some sort of like a pinkish hue light pink and the spider itself doesn't even look like a, a freaky spider at all so you know what i mean this is just absolutely gorgeous i love how she there focus she was able to depict the animals in a very gentle way, I guess. Um, look at that! Isn't that super cute? Look at that monkey! Um, um, the hedgehog. Very beautiful background, you know. I don't know what to call I'm not really that adept in art, so I'm not sure if this is an oil painting or a watercolor. I guess this is the watercolor painting, I'm guessing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? So yeah, like I said, I was going back to... I want to go back to what I was saying earlier because, you know, these images really just take me away. Um, see, even the bats, they're not scary. And even though, like I said earlier, the soft um, strokes, uh, maybe that's, you know, part of the reason why I feel like this deck is very calming, very nurturing, very soft. And despite that, she was able to really make out the images or the animals um look at that phoenix right look at this boy it's not there the edges are not sharp um but it works i love it and look at this cat beautiful gosh okay so let's go select one card and let's see what the guidebook says so we'll have a look at um katie jane wright's writing okay oh, oh my gosh we stopped at elephant right i think we did no correct me if i'm wrong okay so let's have a look okay we definitely need to have a look at the guidebook for this one because da -da -da -da, i wouldn't know it's not alphabetically arranged actually you know what having a look or kind trying to find the elephant here is also quite a challenge let's see um gosh where are you <laughs> oh there 45 i found it quite fast but you know i would usually have like a hard time searching for it because my eyes just start all over the place and then you know i just forget if i looked at this part already so anyway rambling so here we have the elephant so elephant it says grounding element earth and then the meaning ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth okay do not let anyone shake your course or move you from your path. We all experience knockbacks. Take them on the chin as they will make you stronger, like the elephant who is the grounding force. Have the strength to believe in yourself. You know what is right. Weather the storm and... Oh gosh! Yeah, okay. My eyes kind of like... <sighs> weather the storm and it will die down. Trust in yourself and stay strong of heart. The elephant comes to you to help you connect deep into the earth. You got this. Take three deep breaths into your heart. Circle it. Think loving light through it. Drawing it in through your heart. Sorry, what? Through your breath. And tap on your heart three times and say, I've got this. And then for the crystal companion, you have aragonite, green calcite, and rhodonite. Sorry for earlier. I was looking and for some reason I got dizzy and phew, I get that sometimes so yeah there what do you think of the writing i think it's nice i think it's like i said it gives you all of the information that you need plus it allows you to further think about the meanings of the cards through meditation and i think this is an awesome awesome deck for meditation um look at, that. Look at those rabbits they're too adorable 
I guess because there's not a lot of things that would kind of like distract you from the spirit animal, you know. You see what you're getting. Like this monkey, yes, you have like leaves and all of that, but it is the monkey's natural element. So it's very, very cute. Very lovely. Um, let me know what you think about this deck. Um, oh my god, author. <laughs> uh, I gush whenever I see this deck. And it also has a ladybird. Or a ladybug. And I know that um, Lisa Pappas, like I've been watching her videos recently and I know that she has an affinity with ladybugs or ladybird in this case. And I hope she, she sees this video so that Maybe she'll consider getting this deck because it is truly an awesome deck. So yeah, there you go. That is it. Um, that is the Spirit Animal Wisdom um, deck, Oracle deck by Katie Jane Wright, illustrated by Nikki Strange, and published by Didim Octopus Books. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you have this deck? How do you work with it? Do you how do you bond with it? You know um there if you have any questions please feel free to let me know just leave a comment and i'll respond to you if you like this video consider giving it a like or subscribe to my channel for I'm sorry <laughs> let's do that again please subscribe to my channel for future deck reviews if you want to see if you're into you know admiring the artworks of decks you know maybe have a look at this channel subscribe or if you like um like a card readings because that's what i mostly do on the channel i also have it here so yeah that's it enough plugging thank you so much for being here and i hope i see you again soon bye